Hey what is up guys, it's Vinit Designs here with a brand new video. Today I'm excited to bring you an animated stream overlay for Twitch and YouTube and even Mixer. And uh, there's two versions, one is animated of course and one is just flat. And it's up to you if you want to use the animated version or not because you will need After Effects in order to edit that. But let's go over the flat design first. Um, I provided a Photoshop file for that and uh, we have these layers provided. One is a background and uh, another one is delete and that's pretty much just the, the backing um, of the webcam. So you would just remove that and then you would have the space to put your webcam in. And uh, next up is the intermission screen and uh, let me just hide the face cam so that we can see the full design. And if we open up that folder and here you have the option to remove any elements that you don't need and also change the color of the design. So I have color one and color two and uh and the reason for that is because uh, this design has multiple colors uh, one is a blue and one is a purple but if you want you can deselect them and you can have the original color that was an orange or a yellow uh, but if you enable that we have um, two options so if you want to edit color one just double click on this half uh, circle and we have the option to change the hue so when i drag it over it's changing depending on where you position this cursor let me just undo that and we can do the same thing with the second color as well. So that's up to you if you want to change the color. Now let's go over to the face cam. Let me just uh, close this up, enable face cam and uh, we can uh, disable the background and also this one um, and the intermission screen and we have this face cam. So if I were to zoom in, you can see that you have the option to add your name. And also this is the area where you will be placing the Streamlabs. Um, so you have um, the user that followed you, you also have um, subscriber, you have donation and also bits. Let's open up the folder and uh, let's go to edit. You can disable anything that you don't need and also edit the text. So the font that I'm using for this overlay is Bebas New or Bebas New. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, if you want to see the spelling of it, there is a text file in. The folder provided and you can double click it to open it and see the name. There are a few things you need to keep in mind when you want to export this for use and uh, one is that you will need to save this as a PNG um, because you need to have transparency in order to have a transparent background where you will be placing your webcam. Let's see how we can export the face cam first. Uh, first of all you need to disable the background layer and also uh, de delete. You can either disable it or delete it and also disable intermission. And all you need is this. There is also another background that you need to disable. So if you were to open up edit and scroll all the way down, there is another layer called delete. You can hide that or delete it so that you have a transparent background where you can place your webcam. And now that we have that, uh, you can position it wherever you want or you can keep it where it is and go to file, save as, and we will be brought to this menu where you can save. And we wanna choose PNG so that we keep that transparency. Just scroll down and uh, select it and rename it to whatever you want and then click save and then you can bring it into OBS or any other streaming software. Now let's see how we can export our intermission screen. So let me just disable face cam and enable intermission. So for the intermission screen, you can enable the background back uh, because uh, we have this mask that just pretty much cuts out a square or a rectangle in this webcam frame so we don't need to worry about that but make sure to again save it as a png so again go to file save as and select png and then save it out and then import it into streamlabs or into obs and that's pretty much it if you have further questions you can leave it in the comment section below um, but let's go over for the second part if you are interested in the animated version let's go over to after effects so you can see that we have two layers uh, one is for the face cam and one for the intermission and we want to export these two individually again so let's disable the face cam first and see how we can edit this um, so if you want to edit the individual layers we need to double click this uh, thumbnail and it will open up another tab so we have um, the option to change the color so um, you can use this hue and saturation control to move this circle and change the color to whatever color that you like and uh, we also have another intermission and background. So um, the background uh, just keep there and uh, also the individual frames and uh, settings for the text. Double click that thumbnail again and we have Photoshop layers. Another thing we need to do is delete this layer that's called delete at the bottom or you can disable it. So 
so that we remove this uh, black frame and uh, we have transparent background behind uh, the webcam. For the social media information, we have the individual layers available. So um, we can either enter it here or we can enter it in OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Um, so if you want to add it here, I'll show you how to do that. And you need to find the text icons or the ones that say your name. And uh, you need to edit this using the text tool. So select the text tool at the top and click and drag to select the text backspace to remove and enter your own name over here. So that's how you customize uh, the text for social media and the text for intermission is fixed. You can't uh, edit that, um, but you can edit the individual social media names so you can put your own name there. Now let's go back to this tab and now you can see that the background for the webcam is uh, gone and we are ready to export this out. So let's go to main again. Now go to composition, add to render queue and uh, go to best settings and check the quality that you like. Keep it at best, full resolution, click OK and then go back to output module. This is where you choose your format. So just keep it at quick time and uh, choose video output so that the video gets exported. There is no audio, so don't worry about that. And let's click format options and uh, just keep it at animation and then click OK and click OK again. And then let's go to output two, choose this. And then we have the option to save it out to whichever location you want and then name it as well. And it will save out as a MOV and uh, you can later on convert it to a different file if you like and just click save and then hit the render button to export it out. Now let's see how we can export the face cam. So let's go back to main. Let's disable intermission and enable face cam. Now again, the same thing, we need to go into the face cam. So double click that layer. Now we have another layer called layers. Double click the thumbnail again, and we are brought to the Photoshop layers. And this is where you can change again the color. So change the color using the hue and saturation by dragging this dialog box or uh, wheel. And we also have a text layer. So at the top, you can see that you have your name. And this one is a bit different. This is a Photoshop layer. So if you want to edit this, you will need Photoshop. So select that layer, go to edit, and then choose edit original. And this will open up Photoshop. So when Photoshop opens, you need to go to the face cam and uh, open up edit and find your name and you can zoom in and uh, use the text tool to rename this to your own username. So let's say your name is uh, Carl or something. Edit that and you can also change your font. So if you do want to change it, you can do it here. Uh, but this is the name of the font, Baybus New. And uh, you can just click that check mark to edit and then uh, save it, make sure to save it, control S or command S, and then go back to, uh, go back to After Effects and your name is edited automatically. So you can see that it's Carl, um, right now you, it's kind of pixelated, but, um, when you do export it out, it will be HD and, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's how you edit your name. Um, so let's, uh, go back to hundred percent view and that's pretty much it. Now let's, uh, again, disable or delete this, uh, layer called delete then go back to uh, main and uh, make sure that this transparency toggle transparency grid is uh, enabled so that we have a transparent background and uh, that's it now we can go to composition add to render queue and uh, again do the same thing go to best settings and uh, choose best full resolution click ok and then go to output module and here we need to select uh, again quick time go to format options animation and then uh, make sure to go to channels and make sure this is on RGB plus alpha and alpha pretty much means uh, a transparent background. So make sure to select alpha and RGB and then click OK and then go to output, select the location you want to save this out to, then click save and then uh, hit render and that file should be exported out. Hopefully this video helped you out on how to edit my template and uh, please do share it with your friends, but do not share the file directly uh, make sure to link it to Selfie, my store, so that they can download it themselves. And any feedback is recommended. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. And make sure to hit the notification icon so that you don't miss out on future uh, free perks like this and uh, future tutorials on how to create custom templates and designs for yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.